Hey guys, welcome back to part two of our puzzle gluing and mounting video. Today we're actually going to be mounting the puzzle on a foam board like this one right here. So usually these foam boards are a little bit oversized. So what you want to do is put your puzzle on the foam board and then just trace around it so you can get a, basically a rough estimate of what you want your puzzle to be. Uh, you can measure it out and cut the foam board yourself. That works fine. Uh, but I found if you do it this way, it's a lot quicker and a lot easier. Um, and plus with the lines on the puzzle you can cut a little inside the lines and that way they won't be sticking out the top and the sides a little bit uh, But don't cut in too much. I'll just like a quarter of an inch if that So once you have your lines drawn you get a, something long and straight like a yardstick is what I'm using here um, The way to cut the foam board you can cut it a couple ways the best way is with uh, a sharp knife like an exacto knife or something like that. The reason that works a little bit better is because it doesn't crush the foam board when you cut it. You can actually use scissors to do this. Uh, make sure they're really sharp scissors. Um, and there's always a chance when you use scissors that the compression will actually bend the foam board. And that makes it a little bit harder to glue the puzzle to it because of that little bend at all the edges, which is usually where you uh, have the most problems anyway. So you just don't want to complicate it. Once you cut through, you just uh, bend it off, break it off, and you have your full board here. I wanted to show you here that the lines aren't exactly perfect. There is a little bit of waviness when I cut, which is fine because this, the puzzle is being mounted on front. We're going to hang it on a wall. Uh, you're never going to see that. So I bring it downstairs. You can use the spray glue outside, but use a spray adhesive. It's really quick and efficient. Uh, make sure you get the edges. That's the most important part, like I said before. And then what you want to do is just uh, take your foam board, line up with the corner of your puzzle, and just place it on there. Uh, don't put it all the way down until you're sure it's lined up. As you can see, I misaligned it a little bit and had to pull it off. It was already beginning to stick, so I'm glad I got it. It didn't stick and cause any problems. Um, but I'm lining up the corner, I'm going up the side, and then I'm just making sure all the corners line up to get the puzzle mounted on the foam board. So there you have it. That's how you mount a puzzle on foam board. Uh, you can actually hang it like this if you just want to apply some hangers on the back, um, usually with super glue, but especially with the bigger puzzles, you're probably going to want to do some sort of frame just because it's a little bit more support. Um, I'm going to pull it up here so you guys can see the final puzzle. As you can see, it didn't have to wait that long to dry. Um, and after this, I just laid it on the floor and uh, let it dry all the way. So there you go. That's how you mount a puzzle on foam board. I look forward to seeing you next time. And as always, thank you for supporting our channel. And feel free to donate or watch any of our other videos. Thanks, guys. I'll see you later.